I know that doesn't sound fun, but if you want to live a life that's fun, like I know you guys see the life that I'm living where I'm in Miami partying on yachts, the biggest clubs with beautiful women, the boys were balling out on tables. The whole journey wasn't fun, you know? Like I had to grind for two years in Ohio in a small ass apartment in the basement of my mom's house to get here. What's poppin' everybody? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the video. If you're new here, I'm Alex and I'm so fucking happy to have you here, you have no idea, because I'm about to change your life if you give me the opportunity to. Um, so, what's fucking poppin' everybody? Welcome to the video. Uh, as you can tell by the title of this video, the sacrifices that you are going to have to make if you really wanna make it to where you're trying to go. And obviously, if you're watching this video, you want something more out of your life than what you're currently dealt with. And I totally fucking get that because two years ago, literally a year. So I moved here January 3rd of 2021, 2021. So January 3rd of 2021, I moved down to Miami from Ohio. Um, so I was living in my mom's basement before that. And while I was in my mom's basement, I knew that I was going to have to make a fuck ton of sacrifices if I wanted to start living the life that I'm living now. Um, so basically what it took is me putting this imaginary pressure on myself, but not only did I need to put this imaginary pressure on myself, I needed to sacrifice my time with my friends. Um, and I, I think time is probably the biggest sacrifice that you're gonna have to make um, because you're gonna have to prioritize yourself and your future over hanging out with people that are really adding nothing to your life other than some good times, some good memories. And yeah, those memories are insanely, insanely valuable, but you have to find the fine line, the fine line between enjoying your youth and destroying your future. And I know a lot of people don't understand how to do that. And you should you should just intuitively know. You should intuitively be aware of like, okay, like this is probably a little too much fun that I've been having. Like it's 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 such a fucking balance. When I was when I had to distance myself from my friends, like people in college are going on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but I don't know how the fuck they're doing it. One, because it's expensive, who's paying for that? And two, it's so bad on your body. So the only thing I was really missing out on is like going out and getting fucking hammered, you know, like, which I didn't really feel like I was missing out on that much because it's just like, yeah, it's fun in the moment. Like it's a very high, high, but the low is very low. So I did, I like the lows for me were always so bad where I was just like, bro, like I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this for that long. So the really, the only thing you're going to have to sacrifice, not only, obviously the biggest thing you're going to have to sacrifice is time. You can't just be handing out your fucking time. Like, think about how scarce you are with your money, you know? Like, you're not just, like, handing everyone you know your money, you know? Because you value your money so much. Like, you're not just handing your friends $100 bills because you have a couple hundred dollars, you know? Once you realize that your time is more valuable than your money, you'll stop handing people your time so easily. Especially if they're adding nothing to your life other than, like, someone to, to be there to give you company so you're not alone. This is one of the biggest things I had to realize is that I was when I was alone, I was choosing to be alone. And even if you're not choosing to be alone, you are alone. Like, you, it's all about the narrative that you put on it. So when I was alone and I was grinding, I never, I never used the narrative as me being alone. I always used the narrative as me prioritizing myself and my future and my dreams so that I can actually make them happen fucking soon. You know, because I wasn't, I was so tired of like living in Ohio and like being surrounded by people that didn't see the vision. Like I saw the vision, you know, I wanted to be surrounded by people that could boost my fucking, my motivation, my discipline. I wanted to be surrounded by like-minded people. And I felt like I couldn't really express myself in my hometown. Like I love those people to absolute death. I really do. Like they will always have a place in my heart, but like I, I, I felt like I couldn't express myself truly around some of those people because I felt like I would make them one insecure or I would get judged and I just didn't like that feeling. It was like this invisible thing in the air where like I just couldn't express how I truly thought and then I moved to Miami and I started expressing myself on the internet. Obviously I was doing that before I moved out because I had to, if you want to move out, if you want to like really make it, you have to start being the person you want to be in this moment. And that was the hardest thing for me to do is you have to embody the person that you want to be now. 
So you can start living as if you already are that person. And that's how you manifest that life so much faster. Like I always, I don't know why, but I always, I always wanted to be, feel like a businessman, you know, like I, like I got a BMW because I felt like, like a nice BMW because I felt like businessmen drove nice BMWs, you know, because I, I watched The Wolf of Wall Street when I was like in eighth grade. And ever since then, I was like, oh my God, I want to be Jordan Belfort. I want to go to business school. So I went to business college and I dropped out. And that's when I realized all the pressure was on me. So I started living as if I was a businessman, making a lot of money. I bought the nice car. I started dressing really fucking nice all the time for no reason. I didn't do it to impress anyone, but to feel how I wanted to feel about where I was going. You know, it gave me that delusional sense of confidence. Um, and you have to, you have to, you have to have that delusional sense of confidence if you want to achieve this life that you want to achieve. So there literally is absolutely zero room to doubt yourself, like zero room to fucking doubt yourself, bro. And it doesn't matter what your parents say, your friends say, your fucking next door neighbor says, your best friend say, like, believe in your damn self, bro. And once you believe in yourself enough. One, you won't need people to believe in you. And two, people will start to believe in you by how much you believe in you. Like when I tell you guys like 2022 is my year, I'm going to make over a million dollars this year. I'm going to blow up on every platform this year. You guys fucking believe me because I am so delusionally confident when I say that, you know, because I have faith in my vision and I'm disciplined enough to actually make it happen. And this is just literally take after me when, when it comes to this shit. Like I, I just filmed a 13 minute YouTube video on the, the on, like, the essentials of self-improvement, but the camera lens was too zoomed in and it, I was like literally like this close to the camera. So I can't, I couldn't even use the fucking footage. So I'm just like, you know, what? I'm just going to totally butcher that idea. I wasn't even there energetically. So I'm like, all right, this probably happened for a reason. And here I am filming another probably 10 minute YouTube video because I'm fucking driven, bro. I could have so easily just been like, oh my God, this fucking sucks. I'm going to take a nap and call it that. But here I am because I'm driven. I'm disciplined. I'm motivated because my motivation comes from my clarity over my vision and that's where your motivation is going to come you don't need motivation you need discipline you don't need discipline you need clarity because then all of them just come naturally well i'm spitting right now i'm fucking spitting you're going you're just you're just going to need to sacrifice your time that is the biggest thing you're going to have to sacrifice and you're almost going to have to sacrifice your identity who you're pretending to be right now to fit in that was bars because when I was when I was at home, I was I was molding myself to please these people I grew up with, so that they didn't think I changed too much. Because the last thing you want is someone to say like, "Dude, you switched up." Like, no, if, uh, bro. Like, you think I'm doing all this fucking hard? You want me to stay the same? Do you want to stay the same your whole life, bro? Like, that's what you want to do. Like, you're gonna have to start being true to yourself. You're gonna be in a very weird state of being. If you keep pretending to be someone that you're not. Don't do your ego's dream. Don't give don't don't pursue the dream that your ego wants you to have. Pursue the dream that your intuition, your soul, your spirit wants you to do. Like this is my fucking purpose, what I'm doing right now. Sharing this message to you on the other side of the screen. And I'm so fulfilled doing it because I just listened to my fucking gut, man. My gut. God, I didn't listen to anyone else, even when they all told me I was stupid, crazy. I didn't give a fuck. And a lot of times they wouldn't even say it to me, they'd say it behind my back. And I'm just like, all right, bro, like, I, I, it's, thanks for motivating me. And you're going to get rejected a lot on your journey. And this is a very important thing to know because not everyone's going to accept you. Not every school, every job, every platform right away. They're not going to accept you right away. Like the, I, I've been rejected countless times, you know, and it's just, I just, I just look at rejection as protection, you know, because like if, if I'm getting rejected, the universe has something better in store for me. And that has to be your attitude or else you're just going to fucking be a bitch about things. And you don't want to be a bitch about things. Like you have to have this resilient mindset where like, you're like, okay, whatever comes at me, I don't give a flying fadoodle. I'm going to, I'm going to work around. I'm going to adapt whatever circumstance comes my way and I will thrive and I will prevail. Mama mentality. You can do anything you fucking want. Once you get clear on what you want. Once you were resilient, disciplined, motivated, clear, clear, clear. clear. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, like it's never been easier. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy. 
but you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of things. And the main thing is going to have to be spending your time with people that aren't adding anything to your life. More time alone, more time grinding, more intentional deep work. I know that doesn't sound fun, but if you want to live a life that's fun, like I know you guys see the life that I'm living where I'm in Miami partying on yachts, the biggest clubs with beautiful women, the boys were balling out on tables. The whole journey wasn't fun, you know? Like I had to grind for two years in Ohio in the smallest apartment in the basement of my mom's house to get here because I saw the vision, I saw what my life could look like and I adopted that idea and married it. I'm married to the fucking game. Married to the fucking game. Because I want to be the first millionaire in my fucking family. I want to create generational wealth and I will not stop until that's a thing. The only person that can make it happen is you. God damn. I just keep coming back with more and more bangers. God damn. How do I do it, guys? How do I do it? Just kidding. I need to humble myself, but... Giving yourself recognition is also important. Like looking about where you came from to where you are now, super important. So guys, comment down below what you want to see from me. If you're new here, subscribe. Drop a like on the video. Comment what you've learned from this video. I reply to almost all my comments and I love reading them. So I thank you guys for your attention, your time. I love you. And as always, be productive.